Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anna and if you are new here, welcome, hi friend. Let's be friends. It is January 2023 as I film this video. It is my first video of 2023. So happy new year. I'm so excited for a new year. And although I don't really love the idea of doing resolutions based on a calendar year, I definitely know that there's an energy in the air to restart, refresh. And with that in mind, I'm creating a new series. I'm not really sure what to call it, so I could probably use your help down below in the comments. I'm thinking business check-in, reset, behind the scenes, get to know me better, help you out, all the things. Basically, I wanna share a little bit more behind the scenes of what's happening on this YouTube channel, a little bit about analytics, revenue, who doesn't like to talk about money and how this channel is growing i am a new youtuber so as we film this we're still under a thousand subscribers which is that like magic number to really begin your journey on youtube so if you are subscribed thank you so much thank you thank you thank you it literally brings me joy and yes it is a metric it is a number but it is something that feels rewarding and like this community is building and all the hours i put into editing and learning honestly so much i have to learn yeah, I'm just so excited that you are here. So thanks for joining. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button below. Comment your favorite emoji below. I love saying what everyone's favorite emoji is when texting. I'm really into the unicorn and dancing man right now. And also like this video, it really helps the channel grow. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, but first, I'm getting warm. <laughs> okay, we've got our coffee, cheers. Oh wow, look at that. It's because I have homemade cashew milk in this, so don't worry, we got our little spoon. The cashew milk seems to split. You might want to grab a cup of coffee too. This one could be a bit longer. And you're probably wondering, where the heck am I right now? Where am I filming this? What is this purple room? Well, if you've ever watched my packing video, which I'll link up here, you might recognize this purple room. So I am back in Calgary. It is where I call my home base right now after living 10 years in Vancouver. We're back in the original hometown of Calgary. So the first thing I want to chat about was personal updates. And I love this check-in that my sister taught me when I was traveling with her in Malta, video to come soon. It's highs and lows. So what is something that has brought you joy lately and what's something that's been low? And I think for me, a high has really been my ability to focus on YouTube, to narrow in on this content creation side of things. I knew in the new year I had to make a change. It was kind of just happened to be the timing of when my producing was happening, but I also made a change to be on Instagram less, be on TikTok less, which took a risk because those are basically your marketing platforms for your channel and to focus all my attention into editing, which means a lot more time behind the computer, a lot more time like headphones on, not talking to people, so a little social life has dropped, but it's brought me a lot of joy. I think of this as my high because it's growing and it's really exciting to see and we're gonna get into my publishing schedule in a bit but it's bringing me joy watching this community grow and that's thanks to you so thanks for being here the low in um my personal update right now is this kind of anticlimactic depression low i like to call it um, i am a person who has experienced depressive episodes and I say depressive episodes because they're often short term for me now, but when you come back from travel, you kind of come back into this like less social experience, a little bit more routine, and there's um, less spikes in your life. So that's something I'm experiencing, but I have to remind myself it's the bigger picture. Let's look forward to the next travel. Another high in my life is that I'm learning Portuguese. So if você fala Portuguese, comment below. I'm still working through it, but I am on Duolingo. I'm at like a 170 day streak, which is really exciting. I'm choosing to learn the Brazilian Portuguese after spending a month in Portugal in the end of 2022. I realized how much more smooth the Brazilian Portuguese sounds to the ear versus Portugal Portuguese. Confusing, I know. And I love the phrase to do bem, which means everything is fine. You can ask that, you can also answer that. So to do bem. <sighs> so the next thing on this business check-in reset, learn about me piece of video is my content creation and my brand growth. We'll call it the 80 brand. We're still working out the naming. I have created a publishing schedule for myself and you'll actually see it behind me here. So I've posted note 
every video that I have filmed already. That is a lot of videos. We currently have 4, 8, 12, 16, 19 videos to go. And that is all the content I filmed in 2022. So why you're probably confused and thinking, are you a niece, are you not? Is because I filmed a ton of footage when I traveled for three months in Europe. And then I also filmed in the summertime and then I did about three or four videos in Portugal in the fall. So I'm working through all that content and my goal is to finish all that content before I leave again for travel, but nonetheless to catch up a lot more so that when I travel, I'm just things are a bit more organized. Now in talking strategy, I love organizing. You can talk to my friends. I will volunteer to Marie Kondo fold your clothes. I'm a nerd about the lists. So right now the publishing schedule looks like it's going till May. We're hoping that we are able to release more videos sooner. And if you subscribe, hit that button please, it will definitely make this a lot easier. One part under this brand growth idea is long-term ideas. So this is on the business side of things. What are some long-term goals or growth ideas that I want? to make happen. I want to continue to grow my digital products. So I have two currently on the website. I have a money tracker template and I also have a packing list. You can go check those out. I also really have a gut feeling I want to restart my podcast to share things that are happening in my life and also travelers. So how did you land where you are? How did I meet you? Especially when people are solo traveling, what's your journey been like? So that's an idea. <laughs> It's a lot, like why am I adding a podcast when I just said I have 19 videos to edit? I don't know. Cheers friends, if you're still with me here, thanks so much for being here. Look at that coffee, it's split again. Oh, but mama's been making homemade cashew milk. It's good, it's really good. All right, we are diving into section three of this video and that is analytics. So as a content creator and one who I identify as a nano sized channel on all my platforms, nano being zero to about 10,000. All my channels, which I say is TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I am on Facebook and I do see value in Facebook still because I've got a lot of boomers that like following me, neighbors, parents, friends, um, old business partners that were already engaged with me. So I find Facebook still useful and I'm experimenting with Pinterest right now. I've never personally been a Pinterest user, but I do feel there is um, mad growth. That's insane, mad growth. <laughs> there is intense growth available on Pinterest in terms of reach and impressions. So I'm experimenting with that right now. Back to analytics. All right, we're gonna look at YouTube. Welcome to what the back end of YouTube looks like. I currently have 610 subscribers, which is, Ooh, look at that number, 28 in the last 28 days. 610 is such a nice number. I love even numbers. I'm like such a math nerd. I love the number eight. It's symmetrical, it's even. Two goes into it, uh, like the factors. Okay, I digress. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna look at analytics. And one thing I wanted to look at is views. Let's say in the past 30 days, I anticipate to do this video in about 38. 30 days time. So I guess we'll kind of have to go with 28 days because that's pretty standard four weeks ago. Overall, my views are 7,500, which is like almost double more than usual. And in December or prior November, December, I was in Portugal and I never posted anything. So we can see a short on December 13th, me eating a pastas de nada, which are an amazing Portuguese dessert really spiked my views. My long form videos don't spike my views as much as we can see my shorts do. So here we posted another video. This was um, my second Paris vlog. And then we have a short here and we just posted this on Sunday, which is two days ago from filming today, which has done really well. I'm so stoked. So thanks for anyone who's watched that. And then I just released a short uh, last night that didn't do so well. And I'm also experimenting with copyright free music versus using audio from YouTube to see what performs better. So in terms of sub subscribers, subscription status. Ooh. So we can see in the last 28 days, 92% of you are not subscribed. I'm looking at you. 
hit that subscribe button. Please, please, please. Oh, 7.5% of you are subscribed and thank you. You're my best friend. <laughs> we can see that geography wise, I believe it's mostly Canadians and then we have some in the US and because I have some amazing friends overseas, like I have a few in the UK, we're meeting some new Brazilians. Um, India doesn't surprise me that it's one of the top just due to population and population per capita. Is that the right phrase? Um, yeah, it's kind of all over the place, but Canada and the US are um, most popular, which is great to see Canada. It's popular because obviously we're like a tenth of the population of the US. So I love seeing that Canadians are seeing my content. So subscribers, 28 in the last 28 days, if I do the calculation right, by July 11th, at this rate, I should hit a thousand subscribers, which is my biggest goal right now, if you haven't gotten that already. Um, if we look at content, it's been an interesting experiment too, to navigate what thumbnails work the best, what titles work the best, likes and comments. My most viewed video is my packing video, which was like such an exciting thing to see. It's hit over 25,000 views. I just know that packing videos are popular, so I don't really attribute the thumbnail or my tags or my title to that. Um, and then also, I think it's hilarious that these two recipe videos, which were posted six years ago, are still performing the best. And also the fact I shaved my head four years ago is performing really well still too. You can watch that to find out why, because it might be happening again this year since my hair is quite long again. I do think shorts are a helpful piece because you can reuse that content and also it is helping with views and kind of just getting maybe my channel in front of some new eyes whether they're engaging or not so if you found this video through short hello welcome so as i mentioned as of january 1st 2023 uh, my focus for instagram has been a little bit different and i am focusing more on my youtube creation so you probably will see less stories from me and less regular posting also like I'm just sitting behind a computer every day. So it is exciting, but it's really not. It's not really the travel content I think you want. I also lose subscribers every time I post. So I think that's hilarious. Let's go into insights and let's also do the last 30 days. So my account reach has gone down, which doesn't surprise me. My engagement has gone down. My followers have stayed even. So what I mean by that is I feel like I've gained more genuine followers. So if you came to this channel from Instagram, hello again. Um, but I also lose followers. I'm not kidding you. Like when I post anything, I lose followers. I think it's like the most hilarious thing. We can see that a lot of Calgary people are, are still following me and Vancouver. So what's the United Kingdom? I have some friends there right now and Nigeria and Germany is interesting. But yeah, like December 25th, I lost five followers. I kind of just like don't care though. I mean, I do, I want to like grow this channel in this community, but like I can't take it personally because I have no freaking clue what's happening with y'all and I don't even know what's going on. But it's great to see, and I love this one, is how many people are non-followers that find my channel or are engaging with reach. So reels do seem to be the way to go. Most of the people that are even just looking at my, um, my page are coming from reels and posts. And stories are pretty high too. I used to post a lot on stories and again, I'm just taking that kind of break. Now we're diving into TikTok, which will be interesting because on this platform, I feel like if your content goes viral, you can gain a lot of followers really quickly. But if your content doesn't go viral, it can be really slow. So let's take a look at my analytics here. My phone may also die during this. I was really prepared for this video. <laughs> We're also going to look at the last 28 days, not 30, 28 days. So my video views has gone up really high. Um, I had a video that I shared about my title was crying in a Paris cemetery, which I did cry, but I knew it also would be kind of clickbaity and it was just to promote my Paris vlog, which did really well, which helped with profile views, likes, comments. I have a few people on TikTok that are regular commenters. So thanks for supporting me. Yeah, you can definitely see a spike of kind of when I upload too. I do plan to keep uploading on TikTok. So if you're not following me there already, please join me and let me know what kind of content you like to see. I debate between always sharing this um, type of content that like is trending or was with one of the audios or just sharing kind of my travel videos still on there. So we can see that 
a lot of these videos are still trending upwards, which is funny because some of them are really old. And in terms of followers, I definitely gained a lot more followers. So I gained 29 new followers on TikTok, which for me is a lot. So again, I'm a nano influencer. I have a small channel. So numbers like 29 or seven, like seven new subscribers is a huge number for me. And one day I know 7,000 is going to be a good number for me. So we're thinking ahead. We're like wanting to grow, but also knowing like any growth, as long as I see um, a positive growth, I'm happy. That's where I'm at. So that's for analytics, but don't exit out of this video because I'm gonna be sharing a revenue at the end of this video. Number four on this check-in video is goals. So things that um, I would reflect on in a past video. So for February, we're, we will reflect on these goals in the next video. Short-term, long-term, personally, financially, what's the plan? So short-term, I wanna get traveling again. That's like my number one priority. I'm thinking Eastern Europe, but my mind still kind of unsure of where to go. I think I'm going to stop in London and visit some friends first and then I'm not sure what to do next and financially it kind of ties into this. So doing something like World Packers definitely provides a more affordable way to travel but I'm not sure how many World Packers I want to do and also I want to make sure that content creation and editing is a higher priority than last time which means I think taking a break between world packers, booking an Airbnb or somewhere where I have a little bit more personal time to reset my mind, but also reset editing and content creation. Again, financially, I'm working towards travel funds again and also building some more long-term savings, which has been really hard to do. So I think business-wise, what I'm most open for is sponsorships on video. So that's something in my content creation goal that I've made for myself and setting reminders like pitching myself to companies and brands that I really like and I've used multiple times. So if you're a company watching, send me an email to my comment below. I'm really excited to work with some brands that like really ring true to what type of travel I do, which is often carry on only sustainability or things that help make our life more efficient, organized or like neat. I guess on a really personal note is continuing to build my self-confidence. That's something I've been working on since I left Vancouver is uh, believing in my skill sets and that I have some value to add to this online world and also to the people around me. And I think when we see so many amazing creators and people who speak of such high value, we think that why should I start a podcast or a YouTube channel? And if we just think it might help one person, then my job is done. I'm happy. The last section is favorites. So this section is intended to be favorites that I've been liking for the last uh, month. Then we will get into revenue. So products, three of my favorite products I'm using right now is I tried out the Ilia foundation when I was in Portugal. It has SPF 40 in it and it's slightly tinted. I really loved it for Portugal because it's like one base coverage. So the days I did kind of want to wear makeup or was going outside, it was nice to have that coverage. I will say you have to kind of wear um, some kind of powder over top because it can be oily, which I got the Super Goop SPF powder stick, which was awesome because it's a brush and a powder in one. So when you're packing and trying to condense what you're bringing, I am obsessed with my hard drives. And I did put Velcro on the back of one of my hard drives because a little behind the scenes, you can see some Velcro there too. I just stick my hard drive onto my computer, which makes for my desk space to be a lot more organized. And then also traveling, it helped stay intact in my laptop case. The last thing is my e-reader. So this was a new edition since November. I got this for my birthday. And it leads me into what books have I read in the last 30 days. So I publish all these books on my website. Every time I finish a book, I make sure to publish it there because I'm always looking for a good read. I do love a good romance novel, a little murder mystery. I'm not into the whole fantasy world, so sorry, I don't have a lot of recommendations for that. Books I finished, I finished The Push by Ashley Audrain while I was in Portugal. That was really good. People We Meet on Vacation was also kind of whimsical. It was a good book to read while kind of on vacation and like to give this hopeful, like, of course, high school fairy tale adventure of meeting someone. I just finished Turtles all the way down, which ended really abruptly for what I wish. I was kind of like, oh, it's done. Um, but like an easy read, it's cute, it's good. I think I read it in a couple days actually. And then I just 
finished reading this summer I turned pretty so I just finished that and I literally finished it in three days so it was quick and now I'm currently reading just gonna open this up a good girl's guide to murder so I literally just started the, that this past weekend but reading is a priority for me because it helps um, just keep me a bit calmer doing less on my phone instead of scrolling I'm trying to read so at least I'm activating my brain that's about it for favorites our last section is how much money did I make in the last 30 days? Let's talk about it. So YouTube, how much did I make from AdSense? Yeah, zero dollars, folks, zero. So you can see that you have to reach a thousand subscribers in order to even apply for monetization on YouTube, as well as you have to have 4,000 public watch hours. So both of these are consistently growing. And as mentioned before, that's really my focus. It isn't about what numbers I reach, but it's about continuous growth. So that things, my percentage of growth is in the positive, not the negative. That's where I'm focusing my attention. And by subscribing to this channel, you can help me reach it a little faster. In terms of affiliates, I don't have anything to report on either because I don't have enough that an affiliate program can pay me out. And then the last is sponsorships. And as I mentioned before, that's a business goal of mine in the next little bit to focus on sponsorships. So that revenue was pretty sad. But again, I'm a new YouTuber. I would say I'm almost, I'm like two to three months away from really reaching that year mark. My channel's been around since 2016, but like actively committed to filming. Um, yeah, I'm new into this game still when people have been doing this for like 15 years already, which is crazy. So it's exciting to see this growth and I hope that these numbers were useful to you to understand if you want to start your own YouTube channel, what kind of growth will you be looking at it's not a one-stop shop you don't become a millionaire instantly it takes a lot of effort and time and something that i feel is not transparent enough is actually the time that you have to do sitting behind the camera either filming or editing one more sip of coffee all right, friends, that concludes our first edition of this check-in reset business behind the scenes type video. So comment below what you thought, finish the rest of your coffee. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe to my channel, please hit that like button below. And I can't wait to do one of these videos again for you in about 30 days. And until then, have an awesome day, finish the rest of your coffee, and thanks for being part of this community. video one two three welcome back to my channel testing video exciting we're doing something new tiktok is like more addictive than an amazing chocolate chip cookie and that's saying from someone who makes pretty badass chocolate chip cookies